welcome back. Today's look is going to be with ColourPop Baby Got Peach. It's a quick summer look with peach eyes, nude lips, and pink cheeks. So hope you enjoy, have a great day. Hello, I hope you're all having a great day. Um, today, just gonna do another summer-ish look. I'm gonna use the ColourPop Baby Got Peach palette, which had, oh, there's like a tissue there. With all of these peach and nice, fun, neutral colors with a little bit of glitter. Um, gonna do something different with my hair today, so it's a little funky because I didn't fix it yet. I did, as usual, my foundation, concealer, bronzer, just throwing on some Anastasia clear brow gel because I've been forgetting it. Uh, another semi-quick look just because once it is summer, you don't wanna be messing around with too many colors, um, too much stuff on your face. So I'm going in actually with the Nude Light, the Huda Beauty first. I'm gonna use this middle color for my brow bone. I don't have the name of the color, it's not on the back. I don't wanna do something too shimmery, but I also want something a little brighter. We're gonna do this quick, easy, because I have a pizza in the oven for the kids and I've probably got like 14 minutes to do this before that oven beeps and I know nobody's gonna be able to take it out except me. If I have to um, pause the video, I will. But, so just gonna take a regular fluffy shadow brush and right now I'm gonna go into this middle one center fold. I'm gonna use that for my lid color nice really pretty peach color i also have my p louise base on it's actually been sitting for a while now surprisingly the rain stopped and the sun came out so kind of kind of nice it was a little gross before i hope everyone had a great week a great weekend things are looking good for everyone I also have um, some new things to try. I did try these already. Um, this is the Huda Beauty Lip Contour 2.0 in Sandy Beige. And then this is, I can't remember the exact name. I'll put it in the bio, but this is uh, the cream lipstick, but it's like a gloss. And then this is a sample of the powder. And of course, inside, I'm gonna bust a nail off if I try to take that out. So I wanted to try the setting powder for something different. Oh, good. Tweezers. Uh, then my usual. So it, it looks kind of light. We'll see what happens. So back in, I'm gonna use this little blender brush. Um, I'm gonna go in with Darlin, and I'm gonna do that like right under the brow bone. It's a little orangey, orangey peach, I'd say, because these are all peach toned. See, this is more of like an orange peach, and on my lids, more of a pink peach. We're just gonna kind of whack it on there. to show up a little bit. That works out good. Uh, next, I'm gonna go in with Half Baked. That is gonna be my crease color. I'm going in for the darker of the three here. I think it's the darkest in the palette too. And just kind of buffing it on, blending it in right in there. Same thing, sometimes I like to kind of pat it out to get my shape, especially like my right hand. I do better on my right eye. So, you know, left-handed, you might do better on your left eye. So kind of just land it where you need to. And blend that up and into that. That looks pretty even. 
All right, so next I'm gonna try this little lid. It seems like it's going to be really small for me to try to get my huge fluffy brush in. So I don't wanna to have to do that. I'm gonna use the Jeffree Star lid. There's nothing really in there. So I'm gonna, oh, that looks really light. <laughs> looks very light. We'll start under the eyes first. Mm. It looks light, but it's kind of translucent. So that's not so bad. Definitely more translucent than I imagined it would be. So that's kind of cool. Not bad. You never know until you try. So... I'm gonna go in with and find a little smudger brush. I have this one, I could use this, the one that came with the Urban Decay. And I'm gonna go in with the Half Baked, just like I did on the top, and do just the outer edge. That turned out good. Next, I'm going to go in with Ready or Yacht, and I'm going to do what I've been doing with some of the other shimmery colors, and just kind of putting it right there in that inner corner, just to brighten it up. I'm not going to go in with any glitter today, kind of just don't feel like getting it in my eyeballs. Next, Mascara. I'll do my hair and then I'll like, you'll see it in, I guess, the beginning of the video. Last video I did the false lashes, so I actually, I did do like a little bit of mascara on one eye, but then I realized I didn't need it, so it wasn't that big of a deal. I like to do my one coat lightly and then the next really get in there I got a little on my lid but that's okay not a problem we're human we all make mistakes right Pretty good. Just a little on the outside. And then that side. Make that weird face only like sometimes. Once it dries, you can kind of just get rid of it. All right. Blush. I want to do a little bit pink, so the double feature spotlight pink is what we're going to do today. And then for highlighter, uh, the Milani one that I've been using, we'll go in with that one just because we want a little bit of a bronze look. I didn't contour my nose. It's like a pain to do. I don't know. Kinda. So sometimes I'll do it, sometimes I won't. And then get that right up there. And I like to blend it out this way. And that's pretty much it. So as far as lips go, let's do those. I noticed the last video, like a lot of my face was hidden and I was like, oh no. Okay. I don't realize what I'm doing a lot. So the more I do this, the more I'll practice and make sure you can see what I'm doing.
a little this is a little brown like a little more brown than I thought it would be but it actually works out really nice I'm gonna color in here to kind of make that bottom lip like pop out a little bit good take the lip color And I'm going to go ahead and use some of these guys, get my hair fixed up, and then um, actually you'll see in the beginning of the video the finished product. So hope you enjoyed a nice quick 10-11 minute video um, with the foundation and the bronzer probably, oh and the brows. So my brows take about like 15 to 20 minutes sometimes, and then the foundation's actually pretty quick. I mean, let's say five to six, so 15 and six, 21, 20, so about like a half hour. So like half hour look, and um, you got this. Have a great day, thanks.